Hello and welcome everyone, and Wolf here with a Let's Talk video for January 2016. If you're unfamiliar with my Let's Talk videos, it's basically when I sit down and talk for 10-15 minutes or so, and try not to ramble, but basically try to bring you relevant information about what I've been up to obviously in the previous month, what is most likely upcoming in January, and what I'll be likely recording and bringing to my channel in the near future. I say, basically if you want to sit down and listen to that, maybe watch some gaming footage in the background, you're very welcome. Feel free to pause the video, make yourself a drink, maybe put some music on in the background before we get started. But uh, basically, yeah, obviously welcome to 2016 everyone. If I haven't wished you a happy new year so far, happy new year. I'm hoping that 2016 is going to be a good year for all of us. Um, not only my subscribers, but anyone who happens to find this video or my channel, basically. And speaking of my subscribers, I always tend to forget to mention my newest subscribers until the end of my Let's Talk videos, and I always apologize for it. But in my note in big capital letters, I've said mention my subscribers. And so, no, I think from my pre previous uh, Let's Talk video... I had I mentioned something like 151 or 153, and at this point in time, it's late evening on the 2nd of January, I want to thank another 8 new subscribers. I always lose a few of you, I always gain a few, and obviously that's totally understandable. I myself have subscribed to some channels, and then when they haven't been producing content that I found relevant to my interests, I've unsubscribed. And I understand everyone has their own personal opinion, but I hope that people come to my channel and enjoy the content I am releasing, and hopefully what I will be releasing in the future. And I always appreciate uh, getting comments, uh, feedback from you all. If there's any games you may like to see in the future, I say I may, I cannot promise that I'll do them. Um, I normally play video games that I personally enjoy, either games I've played in the past, or games that are relevant to my own interests and I've never played them before, and they grow, they go, I should say, on an ever growing list of titles that I want to look at each and every year. And that list, as I say, ever gets longer. But I will get around to them eventually. But no, I want to thank every one of you. I do a lot of this hobby for myself. I try to enjoy each game I record. There's some of them that I struggle with, I openly admit to that. And some of them I haven't completed due to various technical issues or waning interest, I suppose you could call it. For an example... Um, Dead Space is still sitting here on my channel and I still haven't completed Dead Space even though I'd love to go into Dead Space 2 because I do love both of those games. And I'll openly admit I have a copy of Dead Space 3 somewhere and I've never played the game. I was hoping to go through Dead Space 1, then 2 and then finally go into the third game as a blind LP and never got around to it. It happens on occasion. And... Maybe I'll come back to it, maybe I won't. At this point in time, if I was to continue Dead Space, I would most likely start again from the beginning, because I think, I feel it's been too long before I could return to that title. That's my opinion, at least. But no, obviously, anyone who's familiar with my channel, who's been keeping up with, obviously, what's happening, or what happened in December 2015, will know. I am just about to finish StarCraft 2 Legacy of the Void. Most likely by the time this video is released, I will have completed StarCraft 2 in its entirety. The trilogy campaigns at least. I do know sometime in 2016 there is some content coming out revolving a ghost called Nova. And that's being released by Blizzard Entertainment, I think in June till December 2016. Obviously, we'll talk about that more as the time gets nearer to its release. I think it's getting released sequentially. Is that the right term? Episodically. There you go. It's probably a better word to use. But um, yeah, obviously, we'll talk about that more in the future. But I've enjoyed StarCraft 2, most definitely. 
Um, obviously, Legacy of the Void came out in November 2015, and rather than just doing that one campaign, I felt it was a good time to record Wings of Liberty and Heart of the Swarm, even though I had played them for the storyline in the past myself. But I was glad to go through all three titles, and I really enjoy the storyline that Blizzard Entertainment brings to us all. I will be open and admit, and I think I mentioned it at the end of Legacy of the Void, I kind of waned a little at the end of the trilogy. And the whole Kerrigan being the Ascended Zelnaga, spoiler alert, if you haven't watched the end of Legacy of the Void series. But um, no, I kind of waned slightly at that, but all in all, if I look at the entire journey and not just the ending, I really enjoyed StarCraft 2. And I still think it's a really good game, and if I was really still ultra-competitive, and I felt I was good at real-time strategy games, which I'm not, by the way, I would play StarCraft 2 uh, online, multiplayer a lot more. And I would, I would like to do some of the cooperative missions that have become available with the most recent expansion. Anyhow, that's StarCraft 2. Um, you've probably noticed that I'm still, rec uh, still releasing... Uh, Star Wars The Old Republic. That's probably going to end up being a staple of my channel. Um, we're getting quite close to the Smuggler storyline. That will probably be finished this month, I imagine, depending on how many videos of it I release per day, basically, over the weekdays. And my Imperial agent, Verona, is definitely coming along quite uh, readily. I still need to edit some of the videos of both series. I am becoming a bit lax in that, and I apologise for that. But um, I'm keeping up, just about. I'm normally, over the weekends, I realise what I need to get ready for the following week, and I basically set a couple of hours aside and get that done and ready for you all. But um, yeah, I'm looking forward to Chapter 10 being released. I thought it was in January, but just this morning, I had a quick look on, obviously, the Star Wars The Old Republic main website and it seems that chapter 10 the next part of knights of the fallen empire is being released on february the 11th so obviously i'll talk about that more next month in the february let's talk video because obviously valakar my bounty hunter is ready to go into that chapter i'll be honest and say i haven't defeated all of the star fortresses yet I'm really lazy with Star Wars The Old Republic of late. I've been recording a lot of other content for my channel. And so Valakar's kind of been gathering dust. But I don't think that destroying all the Star Fortresses is going to be relevant to the storyline. I could be wrong. Um, I guess we'll just have to wait and see. I might do it in the next month. I've got a month for now to do it. And there's only two more I need to destroy, so yeah. Anyways, you may not even know what Star Fortresses are. You may not be interested in that content I'm producing. But no, um, yeah, anyone who knows Star Wars The Old Republic and the last expansion will know what I'm talking about, at least. In addition, obviously, I've just started recording Mass Effect. or started releasing Mass Effect, I should say. I'll be open and honest because I'd like to basically disclose all the relevant information. I like to be truthful with you, uh, my subscribers, that I've actually finished Mass Effect now. I think it's 56 videos in length. I think that's right. 54 or 56. And yeah, it's complete. I am in the process of editing all the videos together. They are all uploaded on my channel. I just need to basically get some thumbnails together and start putting tags and titles to each of the videos ready for their release. And as I mentioned, I will be releasing Mass Effect on Mondays and Fridays up until its completion. And then I'll be beginning to release Mass Effect 2. And most likely when Mass Effect 2 is complete, I'll be going into Mass Effect 3. I might as well go through all three of the titles together and because that'll um, entice me to keep the storyline going. Similar to StarCraft 2 going through all three campaigns. I think Mass Effect, because 
One thing I like about Bioware's storyline with Mass Effect, choices that my character can make in the first game will affect choices or consequences in the sequel and in the final part of the trilogy. And I am loading my character data, my save file, over from each game. So, yeah, it is going to be an ever-scrolling storyline of Commander Shepard. Up until its completion, basically. And I will be open and honest again, I probably shouldn't mention it. But I have completed Mass Effect 2 as well. I actually just finished that about 6 o'clock this morning. I've had a terrible sleeping pattern. I've been recording from about midnight till about 6, 7, 8 a.m. And basically doing about 10 videos uh, an evening. Which has drained me of a lot of energy, but I've really enjoyed playing the Mass Effect titles once more. So I put a lot of time and effort into those games. And I'm just about to probably start Mass Effect 3 tomorrow, which is Sunday the 3rd of January. So yeah, obviously I'm looking forward to doing that. I think Mass Effect 3 is probably the weakest of the trilogy, but still, uh, still hand on heart, a good game. I really enjoy the game, the, and I'm looking forward to replaying it. People will argue about the storyline. The ending is the weakest point of it, but apart from that, let's not get into Mass Effect too much. Um, what is coming up on my channel? After StarCraft 2 is finished release this weekend, or the previous weekend, depending on when this is released, as I say, I will be releasing a campaign of Europa Universalis 4, where I play as the nation of France. On the 1st of December 2015, Paradox Interactive released, I think it's the 7th, or the 6th? I think it's the 6th major expansion for the game known as the Cossacks, which changed a lot of Eastern Europe and obviously the Middle East. Obviously it changed a lot of game mechanics in the entire world itself, but I think the Cossacks were centralized Eastern Europe, Russia sort of place. I'm not a great historian and I openly admit to this fact, um, but I think the Cossacks was kind of centralized around there. And yeah, obviously there is some change to the game and it motivated me to do another playthrough. It took me a couple of uh, tries to choose a nation that I felt was interesting to play as. I was tempted to play as the Hansa, but with the most recent expansion they removed the Hansa, which is a little unfortunate really. But, oh well, can't really complain too much about that I suppose, it's a thing, it's happened. You can't really go back and unmake it basically unless you use the custom nation builder in that game but no i was good to come back to a grand strategy game from paradox and with that in mind myself and galley fox my good friend galley fox have been talking about maybe doing a cooperative or well a multiplayer game together and recording it for our channels I'm not sure if he will also be recording it for his channel from his perspective, but if not, he's always welcome to my footage. But, yeah, we've been talking about it more. We've been playing a bit of uh, Civilization V together, and we would like to do some multiplayer content. And I think I mentioned this maybe back end of last year, but the difficulty is actually making time together. Obviously, we both have our own work schedules, and it just means that we have to make time on our days off. And we both obviously have our own things we may want to be doing, which is totally understandable. So, yeah, we'll just have to maybe make time in 2016. It might not be early on this year, but I would like to get that done this year. And obviously see how that goes, whether or not we're going to screw each other over or not. It's definitely going to be interesting. Uh, hmm, is there anything else I need to mention? There's a, okay, there's one thing that I should bring up. Obviously, I mentioned it briefly in like a kind of a text update for my channel, and I wasn't sure if it was a good idea to mention it in that fashion or not, but I'll talk about it here. And if you want to give me some feedback, your own opinion on the matter, you're welcome to. And that is on the subject of emulation. Now, just recently, 
um, Gally Fox assisted me in setting up a PlayStation 1 emulator. And I'm terrible at emulation. I didn't know how to set it up. I didn't know how to play any of the older games on my PC. I have a lot of the old consoles. I don't think I have any of the Nintendo consoles, but then I was also always a PlayStation and PC user more than anything. Oh, and I like the Master System and the Mega Drive from Sega. But I recently wanted to go back to some old PlayStation 1 RPGs, and I've mentioned them in the past. Games like The Legend of Dragoon, Vagrant Story, maybe some of the early Final Fantasies. Some of the early Final Fantasies like 8 and 7 have turned up on Steam, but there's always been issues. Final Fantasy 8, for example, they haven't even put the original music in. They have the MIDI music, which, let's face it, if you want the MIDI music or the real I Am orchestra of Nobuo Uematsu, which would you pick? Now, the issue with emulation is the moral grey area and lawful grey area, I suppose you can call it. I own a massive selection of PlayStation 1 and PlayStation 2 games. I've never sold any of my games, so I can just look up actually and I can see titles like Breath of Fire 3, Breath of Fire 4, Legend of Dragoon, as a Vagrant Story, and obviously my full selection of Final Fantasy games. And I go, I could perhaps try to get a video capture card, see if it would work with my original PlayStation, and then because I own the game, would that be alright for me then to do a let's play of it, quotation marks. But, because I don't have a video capture card, I do have this emulator which basically does the same thing and allows me to capture footage using fraps. But, do I mention that when I record the series? That's the grey area, because... I, yeah, how, you know what I mean. It's a difficult um, concept to really, it's a difficult thing to really work around. Officially, I really shouldn't be talking about this. I really should just be saying, obviously, I am recording or capturing the footage of Vagrant Story from my PlayStation. But, I'm not, basically. There you go. I don't know. It's hard to say, but I'd rather be honest about it. Like if you haven't, what I would say is, I probably won't mention it if and when I begin to record those games on my channel, because I would like to. I would love to bring some of the old PlayStation RPGs to my channel and record my own experiences of them for you all, so you could enjoy the storylines for yourself. The one thing I will say, which makes it fair, I think makes it makes it a bit fairer at least, is if you see those titles and you're interested in playing them for yourself, then most of them will most likely be available on, say, if you have like a PlayStation 3 or PlayStation 4, if you have the original PlayStation games, feel free to go and pick them up for yourself. If a lot of the games I have a physical copy for, and they're the games I want to basically bring to my channel. And therefore, I think it's a bit more moral of me to do it that way, rather than pick games that I own, I don't own a copy for. But if you are interested in playing those games yourself, then I would suggest looking at ways of picking them up and obviously paying respects to the original development, development team and publishing team. I think that's the best way to put it. And I may be coming off... I don't know. How, like, what's your opinion? Like, I'm, I don't know how to really put myself... I'm trying to put myself in that position where I feel right about doing it. Hmm. I don't know. I will probably do it anyway, but I like to feel justified in it, which is horrible to say, but at the same time, I don't think it is. It's put me in a moral grey area, as I mentioned before.
But oh well, um, yeah, that's all I want to really talk about. I'm saying, I'm glad that I've got it set up. I would love to play these games again, and I will play them. And I know Fraps allows me to capture that footage. So, yeah, no doubt in 2016, I will be playing some of the old PlayStation 1 RPGs again. As well as other maybe titles that I have at least physical copies for sitting in front of me. Well, sitting in my drawer there that I can see just above my monitor. But um, yeah, obviously feel free to comment yourself, let me know what you think. And obviously, we'll have to see. I have to do some testing of those, because I say I've never played with an emulator before. I have to make sure that the videos and the games actually work smoothly. But yeah, I'm hopeful that I can bring some of them to my channel, because I would like to play a few games that I haven't played for 10 or 15 years or more. But um, yeah, obviously I'll end this video here, I'm starting to ramble or trail off in the silence, which I always feel uncomfortable doing. But uh, yeah, this of course has been Anthwolf, just bringing my Let's Talk for January to you all. I say, feedback is always welcome, constructive feedback, um, even um, critical feedback I suppose you could say. Um, just be generous about it I suppose. But um, yeah, anyhow, this of course has been Anthwolf and I'll see you going further into 2016. Until then though, bye bye now. There's no guarantee they won't come to the same conclusions again, is there? To worship the Reapers and attack organics? There is a non-zero probability of error. Then blow them up. We have a chance to end this. I won't waste it. Acknowledged. Collapsing antimatter magnetic bonding mechanisms. Done. Recommend withdrawal to Normandy. Thank you.